the stadium and the falls area. So you're creating that synergy that is so much needed because those people that will travel in the train and will have to either walk or ride or whatever the case may be, will leave dollars wherever they stop. And there's one principle in financing that the dollar must touch hands seven times to make an impact. Well, guess what? This, this will be a, a, the catalyst to that. So I want to thank all of you for taking time out to come and spend uh, a few minutes with us. The, the, uh, the re reconstruction of this garage is so, so important for this city. I, I want to thank the mayor for just being the biggest cheerleader we have. I want to thank Mike Powell, who uh, at any time, uh, 9, 11, and, uh, not that I, you know, but you know, he'll, he has a tendency to call it the weirdest time. Yes, 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 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> Thank you very much. We truly, truly appreciate you being here, and uh, we'll, we'll, we're, we're on the verge of transforming this city. So uh, thank you. Say, uh, freehold, former freeholder, Commissioner John Bartlett. Thank you, John, for being here. Much appreciated. Thank you. Tell the congressman we said thank you very much. Thank you, folks. So let's give another round of applause for Tony Perez. Think about legacy, right? This will be his legacy. This will be Tony Perez's legacy or part of his legacy. Again, round of applause. Rousing, robust, as Michael say. Round of applause. Please, come on, come on. I very I pay a lot of attention to this. My honorable counsel people. My honorable council people, led by the council president Maritza Davila, Councilwoman Mims, Councilman Alex Mendez, Louis, Louis, my boy, always getting into trouble. Where's Flav? Flav, Flav, thank you, Flav. Oh, one of the brightest minds that we have. Flav, thank you guys for always supporting. Thank you. And Tony's right, so of the $139 million in tax credits, we have the Ward Street Garage Project, mm -hmm. Hinchliffe Stadium, which is underway, yeah. and well on its way to being restored to its former glory. Okay. Next week, we'll be breaking ground on affordable housing for senior citizens in this city, which is yeah. desperately needed. It's the Grandparents Raising Grandchildren Project. Next Wednesday, we'll be breaking ground on that, Owen Tompkins, a proud native son of the city of Patterson. And then, of course, the Hamilton Visitor Center at the Great Falls, the final project as a part of this package. But as I stated earlier, it couldn't happen without leadership. We're proud to have a champion in Trenton State Legislature, like our very own Senator Nellie Poe. Woo -hoo. That's up. Thank you, Mayor. I'm just going to lower this a little bit. Don't have my heels on today. So I, this is the true size paint. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, yeah, five, seven, right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me just say I'm so very happy and pleased to be here today. This day could not come sooner enough yeah, for all right. of us. That's right. And I really believe that that is an important, important point to make. I'm going to ask while I stand here and and just share a few words with you, but I'm gonna ask my colleague, Assemblyman Benji Wimberly, who's Benji. been oh, working Benji. alongside yeah, of me, amazingly working on projects like this, making mm -hmm. sure that we have an opportunity to let the uh, Trenton know that Patterson is important to the state, That's right. that yeah. Patterson is deserving of these types of of uh, funding and that it's now our time. Our time. Yeah. It's now our time. Our time to shine. Time. This is the nice. one project, the one project that we've been fighting for, isn't that right, Assemblyman, for That's a right. very long time. So those tax credits for for uh, Assemblyman uh, Wimberly and Assemblywoman Shavonda Sumter and myself could not be more important. But I, I'm very close to this project, as you all know. So I'm going to ask 
the co-prime and the assembly there you go. as I co-prime this very piece, important piece of legislation in the Senate. But I'm going to ask my colleague, Assemblyman uh, Wimberly, to really speak about the importance of this project. And we all know, I just want to know, I just want to let the city know, Mayor, uh, we're very happy and, and, and happy to see that the city of Patterson, by way of the Municipal Council support, because nothing gets done without a mutual, uh, uh, you know, working relationship Team and collaboration, yes. as you just said, in order to make these things happen, right? So thank you to the council members, to each and every one of you for making sure that the, that the city, through the state, was able to get this for the demolition now and yeah. here today. Yes. But thank you, thank you again. Yes. Thank you, Senator. Uh, I, I really like to thank uh, behind the scenes in Trenton, there's a lot of will and a dealing. Yeah. And on the original ERG bill, Patterson was not included. Right. And I think mm -hmm. one of my first calls was to the chairman. And at the time, Vinnie Prieto was the speaker of the uh, assembly. And they put us on a bill along with Gary Shear, who was the chair of the budget committee at that time. And these funds, I think, really can rejuvenate Patterson in a different way. Uh, as the mayor and the city council, you guys continue to grind, and our commissioners understand. Uh, Eli, I, I remember this going up, so I know I'm getting old and here. So I remember walking to the YMCA for a quarter to play basketball and going through there and coming in. So what I will say is, though, what we have to say when we look at that 160 is retention. Yes. retention of our talent. Yes. So when you look at ERG dollars, our kids that are going to Rutgers, our kids that are going to Duke, that are going to Howard, Virginia, different places, we need to get them back with yes. jobs. That's we right. need them yes. to be in transit areas yes. like this That's right. where they can have housing, mm -hmm. where they can go retail shopping, yes. where they can jump on the train and work in New York, or Hoboken, or in Patterson. That's yeah. right. Bring their talents back here. They got to understand that. So I thank that. the Senator. Tony, this is unbelievable. This is really mm -hmm. what's needed. When you're talking about 8.4 square miles and 180,000 people probably, mm -hmm. we need you know viable parking that's really safe. Yes. But these projects, you have to take it home. We, we bought the dollars, we've extended the dollars, we've done everything we can, but we need the administration and you guys bring it home and we finish right. up with Hinchcliffe, People are dying to get to Hinchcliffe yes. Stadium. Yeah. They can't wait. The visitor center will be state of the art. Mm -hmm. Patterson is on the rise, and yes. we are here and here for a long time. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Friendship with Governor Phil Murphy. So at this time, I'm going to ask to come forward our chairman, John Curry. Thank you, Jose. That was very kind of you. It's Jose Moore. He's available. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Mayor. You know, I like to be the coach behind the scenes. Yes. And you gotta always have one of those folks. I just, I, I can't tell you how delighted I am to see this. It's overdue. And Coach Wimley, I can remember that phone call and uh, you know, I'm very close to uh, a former speaker's Pareto. And we were able to get Patterson into this bill. But folks, I, I want my main message to be to all of you a few things that's important. Yes, I could be on the phone with the governor. I can show you on my phone. He called me 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, we have that kind of relationship. I will want to start with that. So as our great three state legislators are up front pushing, I am the guy behind the scene to make sure that it happens. And I want to just further go on to say how important it is that you have a mayor that has a vision for the city, that we're on the move. But I have a few messages for all of you, that too much individualism is going on. I need you all working 
for the good of this city, the good of this county, and the good of this state, because it's all about the people, it's about none of us. So if you all would give me that commitment, you can agree to disagree, but come together for the good of the people. That's what we're here for. And folks, with that message, well, elections is going on right now, right at the firehouse, right in Eastside Park at the mosque, and across this county and across this state. You all need to get to the polls. Because if you do not elect these folks that are here to help you, you know what you had with Chris Christie. That message. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We've just been joined by our Assemblywoman, Javonda Sumter. Is this something to ask her to come forward? Yeah. The champion in Trenton made this possible. And while we're for her, we've just been joined by former mayor and current councilwoman from the 4th Ward, Ruby N. Cotton. Ruby! Ruby! for that introduction and thank you chairman for reminding us of how we get things done here in Passaic County and in Patterson to the parking authority yes. yeah. we wanna thank you we want to thank you for taking on this task we know that we fought in Trenton the senator assemblyman Wimberly we heard from earlier to make sure that we get these dollars in Patterson we need a council to work with us to make sure that we use them smartly so we thank the council for their advocacy, for the tough questions that they always ask and for the work in getting us here. And we thank the mayor for continuing to call us nonstop <laughs> to remind us that we had to get this done. This is important for Patterson. We have the historic Hinchcliffe Stadium happening a couple of blocks up the road or up the hill. We also have this garage going up, so it'll be a benefit to all of the traffic that we see okay. For the revitalization, yeah. destruction of our great city of Patterson, and that's what leadership is about. Leadership matters. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Savannah. Thank you, Assemblywoman. Chairman Coach Curry is right. It's a total team effort, right? You saw about individualism. It's about collectivism. And the council president and I meet every Friday at noon to review our agenda mm. and to align our vision with one another mm. because it takes a village but also takes a vision so it takes a village with a vision to make like things like this happen so at this time our council president the honorable Maritza Davila thank you so much mayor thank you correct he's <laughs> correct I just want to say thank you. Listen, I have been waiting for this project, and I, as uh, Assemblyman Wimberly was speaking, I would say it was the first project that got the hurt. Yes. And yep. unfortunately, we have not been able. But I am here, and I'm positive, and it feels great. Yes. And yes, it is about partnerships, and it is about leadership. So yes. as council president, I can't do it alone. So I'm going to call up my colleagues, the chair of statutory agency, Councilman Velez of the Fifth Ward. Woo, woo, woo. I'm going to call my guru finance chair, who oh. I have much respect and love for. Yeah. That is Councilman Councilman Rivera. Oh. Rivera. Oh. My other colleague, oh. Councilwoman at large, Councilwoman Mims. Woo, woo. Our fourth ward, which was the only Councilwoman who was mentioned. Councilwoman, our former mayor of the fourth ward, who be kind. Ruby. Yeah, yeah, Ruby. I am, my God, I am so sorry. <laughs> and our third ward councilman, uh, previous councilman at large, Councilman Alex Lewis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alex. So I have a few words. I think this is a momentous occasion, and I am proud to be part of it. The council has long seen the value in making this better for Patterson. We will demolish, and with rubble, we will leave behind anything that is negative. Yeah. Right. And in the way of progress. With it, we rebuild and collectively collectively look to be a world-class city worthy of every space. I look forward to continued support from the parking authority and administration. We are truly looking to ignite 
change and uplift morale for all of our residents. That's right. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tony, sorry I didn't give you a shout out, but you definitely have much, much, much respect for me and I'm sure that my colleagues as well. Um, I'm just looking forward to it and I work right across the street and this is going to be great for the college as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. forward representative from our county government commissioner john bartlett i want to thank for the patterson board of education commissioner manny martinez for joining us as well thank you manny john thank you very much very much ladies and gentlemen i want to echo some of the remarkable stuff that's been said and then i want to sit down but first of all as the parking authority's largest client the state county is very happy to have a project like this in development where it's going to it's going to improve the experience and the quality of folks who come to the mm -hmm. county to work, to be jurors, mm -hmm. to study at the community college and so forth. You said something very important, Tony, which was that um, economic growth and development happens when dollars pass through multiple hands. And we can envision a world, somebody like me, a commuter from Wayne, who drives down here to park, that's once, who hops, grabs a cup of coffee, that's yeah. twice, who gets on the train, comes back at the end of the day, grabs dinner over at uh, my favorite uh, Costa Marino or the Carbon or up at, uh, up at McDonald's for that matter. That's five. Goes to a class over at the community college. That's six. And that's about growing education, econo mm -hmm. economy, and jobs in this entire mm -hmm. region. We've got a handful of spaces in Patterson. The falls is one. And this area with the federal and county and state government is another where those points spread out and make the market businesses and it makes things happen and it is that partnership from the federal government with the falls mm -hmm. through the state through the county through the municipal government through the authorities and commissions that we work so closely with the remarkable stuff like this happens uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing this happen I thought maybe we would have one of those big things where you push the plunger down and the whole thing comes down but then I saw how close the mayor had put the chairs to the building and I said no that's not going to be what happens but whatever we do today it's going to be the beginning of something remarkable that's right looking forward past election day past New Year's into the future and the continuation of the 2020s in this first class city thank you very much thank you I want to acknowledge also the other commissioners on the Patterson Parking Authority Board. We have with us Commissioner Ventura Padilla. Yeah, Thank you. We have Commissioner Ashley Turnbull. Where's Ashley? Habibi. Oh, okay. And of course, the aforementioned Chairman, Commissioner Dwayne Cox. Yeah, yeah. We have us the Deputy Economic Development Director, Osner Charles. Yeah. yeah. Osner. Oh. Cannabis. Deputy Mayor Dolores Most. Okay. Deputy Mayor Eli Burgos. Eli. Ed Palmer, thank you. Millennium Strategies for joining us as well. Perry, thank you as well. And we have with us the newly minted president of the Greater Patterson Chamber of Commerce, Orlando Cruz. Yeah. yeah. And former economic development director, Ruben Gomez. Ruben. Of course, yeah. we thank our congressman earlier. We have with us the district director, Ritzy Morales. Thank you for joining us, Ritzy. So they talked about Mike Powell calling at the weirdest times. And that's no reflection on his personality. He is eccentric. But he's energetic. Yes. And he's a visionary. Yes, he is. Who understands development. And we're so proud to have him here in the city of Patterson, irrespective of what time he calls or texts us. But when we call him, we know he always answers the call. So ladies and gentlemen, our economic development director, who's only had six cups of coffee this morning, Mr. High Energy himself, Mike Powell. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Tony Perez reminded me that it's very windy out, and we have to be careful that the garage doesn't fall over. So I'll try and keep my remarks relatively short and sweet. Um, we stand on the shoulders that, of those that come before us, and that's what this project represents. That's what these tax credits represent. 
know, the ability of the chairman and the delegation to be able to work the legislative halls in power to provide Patterson with its first fair shake in terms of the development process is truly remarkable. This was one of the first projects that was approved, and Tony, yes, because yes. of your vision and because of this site, yep. I want to take everyone on a quick virtual tour of what's about to happen. So this garage comes down. It's a public safety hazard currently. And it, it's, the new garage is going to go lengthwise that way, and it's going to open up about an acre and a half of developable space right here, wow. right across from the train station. Mm. That is going to provide a mixed-use opportunity like no other, right in the core of the center of the center of the city. Now, several things have been transpiring, right? Armory's been purchased. That's going to grow. And now this becomes a central corridor that brings you to the heart of the historic district, as well as to the falls and to the to the beautiful Hinchliffe Stadium that's going to have soccer games and festivals and concerts. Wow. The Vista Park. We're going to okay. have Quarry Lawn. We're going to have the ATP site. Got you. All the derelict land that has been just waiting okay. for opportunity becomes transformed. And it's because of everybody here, right? Yeah. Because of this collective action, yeah. the ability to move the city forward. And I just, I stand humbled uh, and honored to be able to serve uh, in that, in that right. And there's so much more coming. Leader Die has been sold. That's going to become a school. All of the derelict land is becoming transformed. And again, it's because of. All of our partnership, the council, I love working with this council. You guys have vision, you help us do it all together and I can't thank you enough. Yeah. You know, the county freeholders, what vision, what opportunity to transform everything together. So thank you for all your hard work. Orlando, we have so much to do downtown. This becomes yes. that driving thing. Yes. We're transform, this is gonna be the Twin Towers eventually one day too. But I just wanna start and thank Mayor Andre Say as well because you know, this has been our third tour of duty and uh, this is the first beginning of some of the tax credits that we've been working so hard to kind of make sure that they, they, they come forth. And um, I just want to end by thanking you all again, sincerely. And I want to thank Joe Clarizio right over here. Joe, He's bro, my guy, a a Construction, who's been really helpful on a bunch of different projects that we're bringing about, not the least of which is going to be our command center for OEM, fire, and police. So, so many more people to thank, but I just want to, again, be relatively quick and brief. Uh, and just say that there's a new day dawning and it's really beginning here and it's going to be something that case studies are written about um, because we're continuing to learn how difficult it is but how important it is that our cities become the foundation for the future. So get out there and vote and uh, thank you for your time. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. We're probably a little subdued there, right? All right, all right. <laughs> We're going to bring on Joe Clarizio in a moment, but I want to thank Commissioner Corey T. Thank you. Yes, sir. Elvis Durham, the yes. church man, always right. promoted the power of Patterson. That's Give right. him a round of applause. We'll get him a hotel eventually. That's right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we arrived at that moment, right, Mike? Sure. This is it. We're all here for a demolition. We oh, yeah. That that's exactly why we're here at this moment. Oh, Joe yeah. Clarizio, come up. forward, please. Let's give Joe a round of applause. Go. Right. Joe. Joe, you want to walk us through what's going to happen here, Joe? Hello, thank you. I want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you, Mayor, Tony. This is great. What we're going to start doing here today, we're just going to start the demolition. And we're going to have the machine set up, and we're going to try to get the mayor. And we're going to try to collectively convince him to get inside. Oh! <laughs> right, be careful! And let's see if we can start doing some demolition here. Let's do this, Joe. Come on. Let's All right. Chance to throw some bricks on. Get away from that, guys. Get away from that. Get away from that. Where are the hard hats? Get away from that. Mr. Tony, um, how you like this um, idea about bringing a new garage? Oh, it's, a, it's a fabulous idea. It's something we've been toying around with for a long time, but just to get the support from all the folks at the city council and the mayor mm -hmm. that that speaks volumes you know without them we can't do anything so awesome we appreciate everything they do for us. okay Got a very good group of folks that are committed to the city okay thank you Don't hurt us, Andre. Hey, the first one is the 
Supervisor, Mr. Tom. The best supervisor in New Jersey, Mr. Tom. Good job, y'all. Okay. How's it going? How you doing, man? Good seeing you. All right, you can introduce yourself. Really proud of the professional candidate for District 9 in 2022. Uh -huh. I'm here for a historic moment here in Addison. We're about to finally take this building down. The city in a positive direction. I gotta give credit to them. I gotta give credit to where it's coming. And um, I'm happy to see this. I'm just happy to be a part of this. Awesome, awesome. Councilman, how you doing? Listen, I'm doing great. All right. When we see this down, that means Patterson's rising. That's so right. This is history. Right, it's gonna be history. What's we'll coming in? What's coming up? is a good thing to be such a very agency, the commissioners, the county committee, and everybody being lobbying. So this is a true, real leadership. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right, Councilwoman, how you doing? I'm good. So this is great. This is um, has been a very very unstable uh, parking garage for a long time. Grateful to have been a part of this, grateful to have supported it. Always is about partnerships and working together. Today was a good time to show teamwork makes the dream work. Looking forward to this great project in Patterson. Awesome. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilman, how you doing? I'm very well, very well, okay. very well. Listen, you're the hottest promoter that we have in the city of Patterson. So listen, I'm excited. I'll tell you this, uh, you know, we have a great discussion. I'm the chairman of, of the Economic Development Committee. Uh, you know, on the council, where we have a good discussion. I provide, I support this project, fully support it, and it's excited to see all the legislators, all the state legislators, uh, supporting this and bringing those dollars, bringing those dollars to the city of Panama. So I will tell you, this is going to be the beginning of the future of, of our great city. We got the transition here, and listen, if you get from that transition, you could be in New York in 30 minutes. So, this is what, what I'm, I see a um, beautiful apartment retail store in this section. It is going to be great. This is great for Patterson. All side. All right. How you doing, Pasta? Yeah, how do you like this event? Talk about the event. Well, glad great. to be invited to be here. Okay. And I just, being a Pattersonian myself, just looking at this is simply amazing. I was a child, a little baby, when this was built. It's been here before me. And um, I'm here just to be here, and I'm glad to be here. Okay. And the Patterson City Council, y'all get ready for me. I'm quiet now, but you're going to see me soon. Okay, you can introduce yourself. What's your name? I'm Bishop Robert Garrett. Okay. I'm pastor and founder of Deliverance Pentecostal here in Patterson, New Jersey, by way of North Carolina. Awesome. All right, how you doing, sir? Elvis, I'm good. comes to the city of Patterson, and particularly the projects that involve the parking authority, you're the best, Elvis. Okay, God bless you, man. God bless you. Okay. Manny Martinez, how you doing? I'm great, man. It's a beautiful day. It's good to see you. Happy to be uh, here present and uh, sharing in this uh, this amazing event. Man, this is going to be great for downtown. It's going to be great for Patterson. And we're happy to see we're judging. I was going to say we're joined here by, 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 by the fellow Yeah, Corby yeah, yeah. Tate. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, it's a great day, man. It's a great day in the city of Patterson. Okay, how, Corby Tate. Yeah, we're going to hold him. You know, hold him. What's up, Fabio? And we're going to make sure that this thing gets done, man. 
Uh, as you heard, there was a lot, Mr. Chairman, there was a lot that was said today, and it was all recorded. So, you know what I'm saying, Elvis, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, jot this stuff down, mm -hmm. come down to those council meetings and say, this is what you guys, this isn't what we're saying, this is yeah. what y'all said. Yeah. So, uh, I'm glad that it was put out here today, and I'm looking forward to this. Man, I used to work here and sweep up in here. I'm glad yeah. it's being thrown down. Yeah. Too much work anyway. So, um, this is a good day. It's a good okay. day for Patterson. Okay. Hey, Doc.